be changing this cozy corner into a dog whelping area today for my dog Journey. Um, she is roughly two weeks out from giving birth and so it's time to start getting things ready. This is not Journey, but this is B. Um, Journey's a little camera shy, she's over there, but you'll see her at the end of the video. I hope you enjoy it and get a lot out of this video. So here is my corner. Um, I'm taking this little nook of my home and I am going to turn it into a dog whelping area. As you can see, I don't have a ton of space, but I honestly think it's gonna be the perfect spot for her to hide away in her corner, whelp the dogs, whelp the puppies, give birth, and be super comfortable and out of the way. Um, I just have a chair, a table, and a little blanket ladder here, so there's not a ton to remove, but I'm going to get into it, start removing things, and hope that there's gonna be enough space. These are the things that I am going to be putting into the area. I've got a dog gate. Um, this is going to be going around the dog whelping box. I've got a water dish and a food dish so that she can just have access and have perfect, the perfect amount of nutrition that she needs. Um, they are self-watering, self-feeding, so that is something that I love to have on hand. I've got a couple whelping pads. They are water resistant and so any spills, any messes that are going to happen are going to be on these. These are machine washable and I'm really excited to use them. I've never used them before. And then I've got just your regular garden box. This thing is super easy to wipe down. I've never used it before but I'm super excited to add this to my whelping set. Um, it's going to make sure that the puppies stay in the area with Jojo and it's just going to be perfect. So this is all I need really in order to set up the perfect whelping area for my dog. This garden box is just a little thing I picked up from Amazon. Um, I will link it down in the description below. I'm just putting it together here. It's super easy to get together. Um, there were no instructions, but it didn't need any instructions. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory that the little pieces are to hold the big pieces together. And yeah, it was just super easy to put together. I highly recommend this little thing. Um, once you slap, the name dog on a brand I feel like the price just skyrockets and so this garden box was just perfect it was affordable and it was exactly what I needed um, here I'm just putting the whelping pad in I wish I would have put the whelping pad down first it would have been easier so next time I do this I'm, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna put the whelping pad down first here I am just putting the gate right around um, the box area again kind of I feel like I did things a little bit backwards but you learn as you go and this is my first time doing this setup and so it was fine um, I did put it down upside down <laughs> at first and so I had to flip around the gate I just had to basically start over um, but yeah as you can see the doors over here now it's got a nice little area where she can step out. Um, puppies still can't get out, so that's gonna be perfect for us. Um, we really don't want them exploring much the first few weeks of their life because they don't have eyes open, they can't hear, and they are not really needing to be around our other dogs. So here I am just placing the water and food dish. I just want it out of the way in the corner. Um, so Jojo can just access it when she needs to, but it's not in the way of her taking care of her puppies or her doing her business whelping.
some of the elements that I had in the cozy corner. I'm just putting right back. This is my little camera. I have access to this on my phone, and so I just like to keep it plugged in. I want to know when um, puppies need me, when JoJo needs me, what's going on, so I can check in on, on it through my phone at any time. I just added a couple things to make it a little more homey. I did end up adding a dog bed, which it's it's like a giant dog pillow bed. I will remove it when she's getting close to whelping just so puppies don't get stuck under it, but it's a super easy thing that I can add and take away at any time. Jojo is exploring it. She went right in. She felt right at home. I think she really likes it. None of these elements except for the garden box and the whelping pad are new to her, which I think is super helpful. I don't want to add a bunch of strange items in there that she just doesn't understand. Here she is wagging her tail. She loves it. She looks so cute in the little box. I love her. I just decided to get in with her, make her a little more comfortable, play a little bit. She's got the tail up and wagging, so we love that. She's always down to play though, so she's super fun. She's not a very scared dog, so doing anything like this is easy for her to adjust to. Um, she is just very comfortable, and I'm really excited to see how she makes this at home. <laughs> 